Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is second video of the day. It's been a while I have been on YouTube and uh, have uploaded more than one video in a day. In fact, have been uploaded more than a, one video in a week. Anyways, in this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 15.2 firmware. Well, it is in beta stage right now. I do not really see Apple releasing it to the public anytime soon because uh, uh, the day I'm recording this video is 26th of November and uh, it's the holiday season is right around the corner. So Apple may release it next uh, in December first week. Uh, if they won't release it in the first or the second week, I will doubt that they will release is it this year yes holiday season is right around the corner but black friday sale is now live and you are watching a tech channel so you know what a vpn is i don't think so i need to sit here and talk about vpn all that much they are offering you up to 69 percent off just 2.50 dollars for a month black friday deal you can see this is a steal like go ahead and get one like 69 percent off it's a really nice deal isn't it the top link in the description and you can and get your Privado VPN subscription. It is really darn cheap and value for money at the same time. I am using Privado VPN. That's why I am here talking about it and recommending you guys to get it. And the fact that it is so cheap right now. Go ahead and get it. Link in the description will probably end up getting released to public on the first week of january next year or probably the second week of january till then they will uh, roll out small updates like 0.1 updates that we have been getting lately to fix some minor issues and bugs that are uh, present on ios right now which are for a fact a lot there are a lot of bugs present on all over ios on every device pretty much most buggiest uh, firmware that i remember is in past couple of years was ios 11 and after that everything was not as buggy as it is right now after ios 11 this is probably the most buggiest firmware i have been to this day that too for a fact that apple have barely changed anything in terms of major ui elements you know they yes i do appreciate them adding those mic modes and all it is really great quality of life improvement but at the same time they have not really changed a lot lot that they did back in the day from ios 10 to ios 11 it was a major overhaul so having a lot of bugs makes sense at the time but right now the ios 14 to ios 15 i don't know why we have so many bugs right now ios 15.2 beta on the iphone 10r is not different i have been getting a lot of bugs on my iphone 10r there have been a lot of times when i tried opening the camera from the lock screen and it was just completely blank and i had to restart my iphone in order to take a picture which is really frustrating talking about the battery life on the iphone 10r on the ios 15.2 beta as it is right now on beta stages i can't really say a lot but in my experience i have noticed that battery is about the same as it was on the 15.1 firmware but fingers crossed hope so it will get better eventually as time progresses and it will come in the rc and the the final stages as it is right around the corner not to forget fingers crossed hope so we will get new wallpapers in this update too i just so i just really really want new wallpapers please apple give us some new wallpapers performance is about the same as it was on the previous version there is no difference in terms of performance so do not update to this firmware when it will be out considering that you will get better performance on this update i have done geekbench and all it is about the same and at the same time i do not like to just uh, use the numbers to justify how fast a processor is or how slow a processor is it just depends on real life usage i just do not believe in these numbers i just think that it is not the correct way to measure the performance of a device by the way i posted a sponsored video today which will be up on the channel you can see here up on the icard you can see the link of that video you can watch that video not to forget thank you guys so much it is like uh, unbelievable to make a video on a software that i used when i had 20 subscribers it is just unbelievable and i just want to thank you guys for your support and uh, 
yes thank you so much for watching this video and i will meet you all in the very next episode if you think that this video was informative and entertaining consider hitting that subscribe button and like the video if you liked the video and if you didn't like the video well i guess the other button does not work